every pond that you've seen here is actually producing two cycles a year of about 10 tons of fish in 100 cubic of water. And you have the climate. Now with the technology and with the know-how, uh, we can really bring this industry into a level that it will cut tremendously the cost of imports of fish from uh, uh, into, into Nigeria. This is the first tilapia farm that will be established in this nation. And I think it's a very good development to the world of aquaculture. Nigeria's revolution in fish farming begins here, at Buguma, a riverine community in River State. Using advanced and sustainable aquaculture technology, fish farming is gradually changing its status from an activity for the poor to a modern practice for the business-minded. From earth ponds to open ponds with less density, producing fishes round the clock every year, the new technology in fish farming has been adjudged a notable solution to the shortage of fishes in Nigeria and most parts of the world. It is one of the uh, most uh, advanced uh, technologies in aquaculture or intensive uh, aquaculture raising of uh, fish, which is making use of the natural resources, which is the water, uh, which is here in this area almost abundant in unlimited quantities. We are pumping the water from the river and the water is flowing through the ponds. That water is being recycled all the time and changed while we all the time keeping fresh water. And while in that process, we are injecting oxygen into the water and reaching the water with oxygen. By using this system and that technology, we are actually providing a very natural environment for the fish and with the adding of the oxygen and high quality feed that actually enables the, uh, the intensity and the density of the fish in the pond. So every pond that you've seen here is actually producing two cycles a year of about 10 tons of fish in 100 cubic of water. Fish farm that has its own uh, hatchery for fingerling production. It has its laboratory, it has its uh, infrastructure for water supply, it has its drainage system, and it has its knowledge, so to speak. This uh, becomes a nucleus, it becomes a center to develop smaller individual fish farms around it. As easy as it may sound, the Bugama Fish Farm project involves a combination of routines to ensure maximum productivity. From the drawing board, where reports are presented and instructions given, the team sets out for the daily rounds. Starting here, the laboratory. Let's meet Charity, the lab attendant, who shows there's more to successful fish farming than meets the eye. Well, every day it's a daily routine We check the water quality, when we talk about the water uh, quality, we're talking about the chemical properties and as well as uh, the physical properties. One is the pH. You know, we check the pH of this water to see if it will be okay for the fishes we are culturing. We, you know, we have specifications um, to control the water quality. We have the pH. We know the kind of pH, the level of pH we want in the water. We know um, the nitrate level is supposed to be under zero level and all that, all to get the best, um, best out as in the end result. In Buguma, the brackish water, which is a natural habitat of the tilapia fish cultivated at the farm, is close by. Using mechanized water flow and pumps, the elevation of the ground on which the farm is sited eases the in and out flow of water. This is to make sure that the water is okay because right now you don't culture fish, you culture water. If the water is not okay, then there's no need to put the fish in it. So um, every other gadget in the water, like the paddle wheels, 
the pump, the river pump, the well pump, the sensors and everything. We make sure it's okay. It is necessary that we give them all these things and everything is available. And I think it's a very good development to the world of aquaculture. Like all living things, the team ensures the fishes receive the level of oxygen required. When in low supply, the oxygen generating room at the farm absorbs gas from the air and extracts oxygen required by the fishes. A fish farm with its own hatchery, the farm has successfully groomed fishes from fingerlings to sizes big enough for consumption and ready to be sold to a waiting market. The success of the farm can be attributed to the constant monitoring of the fish ponds from the programmable logic control room. Now what it does is we have them at uh, strategic areas. Even behind this panel we have one of it. Now we have at the oxygen room, we have one at the powerhouse, we have at each of these panels and we also have at the pump station. This panel controls the whole of this tank, the first to the last of this row. So any default, the PLC senses it because we have sensors in the water and the machines are also connected in such a way that if there is any fault, it sends an alarm down to the control PLC, then the PLC displays it. With the challenge of irregular power supply at the farm, these generators are on standby. This is the first tilapia farm that will be established in this nation. And I believe that it's a good intervention. The technology is simple. You may say that the equipment are complex, but I bet you almost everybody on the farm, you saw on the farm, can operate most of the equipment that they have there. All the people you saw on the farm are indigenous. That openness is reflective at the farm. The transfer of technology is evident. 90% of the workers are from the host community, learning the technology and developing skills required to run the farm. This can be replicated and we can actually generate a whole generation of professional farmers that will produce fish with that kind of technology. It will make an economical revolution as well because those farmers will start producing fish professionally, consistently. They will have consistent income at a level that is far beyond what they are making today. The big concept in terms from the, from the national point of view is to develop a region, not just to build a, a business for somebody or someone, but to develop the aquaculture industry all around this region. With a community liaison officer, the success of this vision is made possible through a cordial relationship with the host community, Bugama. You know, Bugama is a crisis prone area. Of militancy and the rest of it. You know, most fishermen does not fish again. So having such a project here in Buguma is going to go a long way in providing fish for the people. For us here at Onida Development, the ultimate goal is to make Nigeria's South-South region a hub for aquaculture. Building more of this across the region, we believe this advanced technology in fish farming will not only revolutionize aquaculture in Nigeria, but will empower thousands through commercial fish farming and save the Nigerian government billions spent in the import of fishes every year meant to address the current shortfall.